Leaf Bear is right around the corner, and I'm worried. Doge's hissed, her shoulders sagging with the burden of caring for her new clan. I'm still not familiar with all the herbs here, or what they do. I'm not sure what to collect to guard us against illness like White Cough, or, or worse. The scarred medicine cat tossed her head, her voice frustrated. I was hoping, do you know much about the plants around here, since you have a connection with that, the plant creature? I... Mossleaf turned her head, her eyes glazing as though she were listening to something far away. I know I can have her find plenty of honey for us, and other herbs, as long as we are able to help her find the seeds and flowers she needs for energy. I get the feeling the spirits of the land like her usually do not take such active forms, so it is exhausting for her to gather things without seeds and flowers for food. Mossleaf shook her head, the distant gaze leaving her eyes. But other than that, I'm afraid what the plants actually do for cats is entirely in your hands, Doges. You would know best. She is amazing, but she's a plant creature, not a cat. Doges sighed and nodded. We will have to ask Lionstar to allow some of the patrols to go herb gathering with me so we can stock up before the season ends. Prey is already becoming scarce, but we'll be in even worse condition if we enter Leaf Bear with no herbs to cure us. Beyond that... Doge shook her head sadly. I fear so much of our survival this leaf bear is in Star Clan's hands. Hello everyone and welcome back to Moss Clan here in the Sims 3 Warrior Cats Challenge. And the poor cats are really starting to get pretty stressed. As you can tell, Doge's is pretty worried about what to do for the clan because it is almost time for Leaf Bear, which means winter. For those of you guys who are not familiar with the Warrior Cat terminology, oh, I must leave soft to groom a baby. And oh, Doge's actually has seen a hedgehog. So let's let her go ahead and try to catch that hedgehog. And then I was going to have her catch a whole bunch of these spiders. But yes, it is only a couple days until we are going to have winter, and that's bad news because that means less food for everybody in the clan, that means less to eat, uh, we're going to have a whole bunch of the prey markers that are scattered around their land kind of disappear, and all of the useful plants and herbs that the cats may need are going to go dormant until spring, which is kind of a big deal. So let's go ahead and we're going to have Willow come over and get a little bit of rest. See, look at this. Oh no, Wilting! Tinder your garden, Willow. Tend your garden. Willow could potentially be the strongest spirit of the land. Oh, look, one of the kittens is watching her. That's adorable. Willow could potentially be one of the strongest spirits of the land and give Moss Clan a huge, huge advantage because she can grow any plant for the clan. But she needs to get her gardening skill up there. They need to be able to find the seed. She needs to be able to find the plants that the clan is going to need her to grow. Um, and she kind of goes dormant during winter. So the only thing that really happens during winter that she can help with is maybe like gathering seeds and I'm beginning to think that maybe the seeds are mostly going to be for her to gather and eat to use as energy or occasionally they can be used um, to help the cats kind of cure their illness of different things so we'll have to decide do we want to use it as something to cure the cats for or do we want to plant it to see if Willow will be able to give the cats anything useful in the future or do we want to give it to her so she can give us honey so she, we've basically got like an unlimited supply of honey and when it's not winter we have an unlimited supply of herbs from Willow more or less but she doesn't provide food the way that Slate of Branch Clan does so it's kind of a trade-off in between the two clans and what is Fern Creek doing? She is off to go pounce, and I think that it is time for Lion Star. He's gonna have to wake up because <laughs> it is morning. Well, I guess he could he could keep sleeping because he actually pulled a night shift. All right, so we're gonna let him go ahead and come back over here. He was sleeping inside of the nursery. That's adorable. I have a feeling that he and Mossleaf actually would try for kits pretty soon again. Probably not right away. I want the kits to like. I think we need to make a general rule of thumb for our cats that they need to be at least like a season old, maybe before you, their parents try for kits again if not older, but I think Honey Wish definitely, did Doge's not catch it? I guess she didn't. Wait, did she? It's right here. Oh, it's stuck. Okay, I'm gonna figure out a way to get that little creature out so we can hang on a second, you guys. Well, okay, I'll take care of it. There's a pygmy hedgehog teasing Doge's that's kind of ridiculously adorable. 
Look how cute this is! Look how cute this is! Okay, this is like one of my favorite moments ever. Oh, that goes in serious favorite moments, like memories there. But um, yeah, we'll let Doge's kind of check the kits out. That's important to do. And we're go. Oh no, fleas! Curses, fleas! And I think that Honeywish is going to need to put together a patrol for the morning. So it looks like Squirrel Fly or Squirrel Flight, <laughs> Squirrel Leap. You can tell I've been reading the books lately. Squirrel Leap, Crow Feather. And I think, where's Briarstock? He is, oh, he's catching something. Briarstock, you are so on top of things. But yeah, I think Honeywish is gonna come over here. Let's send her on down. And here goes Fern Creek. Fern Creek, if you've got enough time, Crowfeather is always working so hard. He just wants to catch fish. Oh, he wants to catch a fish, huh? All right, well, let's let him come over and sniff Honeywish. Oh no! And Mossleaf just threw up. Why on earth did that happen? She must have gotten sick from um she must have gotten sick from grooming her kit. Well, that's not good. Alright, and we just deleted her vomit because otherwise it won't go away. As gross as that sounds. But yeah, so we've got a lot to do. We need to have a hunting patrol. So I'm gonna say that it's the morning kind of meet and greet and hunting patrol with Crow Feather, Honey Wish, Fern Creek, and Squirrel Leap, which is a lot. And Briarstock is also helping to gather up some food. So they're really working pretty hard to try to provide what prey they can for their clan, which is a good thing because pretty soon things are gonna get really tricky. Uh, the prey is just going to become less populous. It's going to be very hard to feed the clan. Briarstock, I'm so proud of him. He is doing such a good job. He also wants to sniff Honeywish and Crowfeather. So basically, it's like the whole clan is going hunting this morning. And I think Mossleaf is going to start guiding Willow around to be able to pick up as many of the um, flowers as possible so that we can give the flowers to Willow before they disappear for Leaf Bear too. It's gonna be a busy time. It's gonna be so busy. All right, so you, Crowfeather, um, we'll give you a quick socialization because you need to go and you can try catching a fish. If you really wanted to go try catch a fish, you can go ahead and try catching a fish. I think they've got the idea now that they've been told about it, they kind of have the idea from Branch Clan. And Briarstock, you need... He wants to socialize with Honeywish. All right, so you need to stay... Oh, his mate's coming over. I think Fern Creek just saw that Briarstock was getting close to Honeywish again. All right, well, Squirrel Ape, you need to go ahead and work on hunting anyway. So we'll send her over to Stock for Prey. Everybody needs to do a little bit of morning Stock for Prey. Because it is that time of day. All right, and Briarstock is about to be tackled by Fern Creek, so I don't think she really wants, sorry Fern Creek, um, she wants to spend some time with her mate, but guess what? Somebody wants to socialize with the deputy more than that. So Fern Creek, go angrily burn off that energy by stalking around. There we go, hopefully they'll be able to find some things. So all the cats are, are off doing they're different tasks. We need to do a lot of hunting. How are the kits? It looks like Lizard Kit is off to bother his dad. <laughs> Lion Star needs to get some sleep, but the kits are determined to come and interact with him. Oh my gosh, and Crowfeather caught a starfish, like right away. Crowfeather, good job. All right, you're improving your hunting skill. Well, I think we're gonna go ahead and let him try out this fishing tactic for a little bit. Um, because these ponds, unlike for Branch Clan's ponds, our ponds here are going to freeze over uh, when it comes to winter. And that's not going to happen to Branch Clan, so they're pretty lucky for that. Dogaze is working on catching the spiders that she needs to catch. Lion Star. Oh, and Lion Star did catch a few things. Wow, Crowfeather! Natural Fisher! That's pretty darn cool. Uh, we also need to give this plasma bug to Dogaze. Sorry guys, there's just so much going on all of a sudden. And I don't think the cats can really eat starfish, but outstanding quality, sweet. That is close to perfect quality, but not quite there. And Mossleaf, oh dear, yeah, she's taking care of her babies right now. All right, special. Go ahead and nuzzle Oak Kit again. Squirrely just caught, what, a jellyfish? How on earth did a jellyfish get up in here? I don't even know what to think about that. But holy ma- like holy days, Crowfeather. He's really good at fishing over here. I don't think starfish and jellyfish can really be used for anything. We'll let Crowfeather do a little bit more fishing today. Because it seems like that's kind of what he wants to do. 
Fern Creek, you really need... Oh, she wants to sniff Otter Slip. Okay, so we'll pay attention to that. She kind of wants to meet with Otter Slip. Um, and then what kind of prey does she want to catch today? She wants to catch a lizard or a turtle. So we're going to let her work on those things. Come on, you guys. You guys need to keep stalking for prey. Until you add to the prey pile, you can't really spend your time doing other things. So Doge's... Doge's caught herself a feather and she's apparently wandering off with it. She's doing mysterious medicine cat stuff. Who knows? Lionstar is coming over to eat his contribution. He also wants to socialize with Oak Kit, who seems to be having a good old time. So we'll let him finish eating. And then where's Willow? She's really excited about something. Oh, she took care of her garden. Oh, interesting. I almost forgot about the bamboo plant. I wonder, that could probably be used to set splints for broken broken bones and things like that. All right. So sorry, there's so much going on this morning and, and there's so much pressure because poor Doge's is going to be like, you guys, you guys, we really need to gather up a bunch of herbs. You guys help. All right. So Moss Leaf, let's let Moss Leaf finish this hunt. Oh, wait, drop somewhere. What are you doing? Don't go anywhere with that termite. We need that termite. Where'd you put the termite? All right, let's put this back. Oh, and she's off to, man, Moss Leaf is really, I think she's a little bit torn. She really wants to work on, let's let her catch this bluebird, taking care of her clan, but she really needs to work on like getting Willow to gather up those herbs. So I think Moss Leaf is sort of struggling to figure out what it means to be a medicine cat. So let's let Moss Leaf go ahead and catch this. Looks like Willow's excited for her being able to catch it. And then once she catches it, we will send her over. Sorry about the error, guys. Then we will send her over to do a little bit of work. All right, what's going on over here? Don't beg for food. All right. Honeywish is having a hard time. So come on, Honeywish. You're done. You've, 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 you've finished. You've finished taking care of your claws. Come over here. And then let's see if there's something for the fresh prey pile that she can eat. Oh, trying to keep these cats fed sometimes. All right, here's a piranha. Thank goodness. All right, so it seems like crow feather. You know what? We would only have a couple more days to try to utilize the um, the fishing. So we're going to let crow feather keep trying to fish. Because ironically, he hasn't caught that many fish they can actually eat just yet. And the lion star is getting kind of a nap. Oh, no, I must leave. Didn't manage to catch it. What? What? Fern Creek, you just caught... Did you just... I thought it said that Fern Creek just caught... I thought it said she just caught something. But I bet she ate it because she was so hungry. Fern Creek, gosh darn it. Gosh darn it, Fern Creek. All right. And Doge's, we're going to send you over here. And we're just going to have to trust that the cats will be able to work on hunting. And they'll be able to work on, um, like, taking care of themselves. Briar stock. I almost forgot about you, buddy. All right. Sorry, buddy. Yeah. Okay. There we go. We're just, <laughs> we're, we're going to figure this out as we get used to having so many cats. Don't worry, you guys. All right. Squirrel Leap just caught a goldfinch, which is absolutely fantastic. And it's a common goldfinch. So we're going to add that to the prey pile. And slowly but surely, it is getting filled out. So Squirrel Leap, good job. You can go pee and scratch things and then go on another hunting patrol. And then Moss Leaf did not manage to catch, unfortunately. She didn't, don't go and put your leaf somewhere. We need that leaf. We give that to medicine cats. And we're going to work with moss leaf really quickly. Put your leaf back in your, your inventory, you silly goose. And we're going to have her gather up these flowers with willow. And I think that her getting distracted so much is kind of an example of what it's like to try to worry about being the the spirit cat and what does that really mean even though there's so many cats who are currently like hungry and the prey pile needs fed and what about her kits she doesn't like being away from her kits for so long so let's send willow over here and the spirits of the land can just teleport like up near people all right yeah see moss leaf the only thing that's really on her mind is kind of like wanting to be near her kits so we'll go ahead and mark. And every time we mark, we can then come over. Oh, look at her. Look at her. We can then come over and pick this up. Doge's caught her spider. Thank goodness. That's a good thing. And then guide her over here now, Moss Leaf. And Honey Wish is so hungry. And she has fleas. Hang in there, Honey Wish. We're going to try to take care of you. All right. And Willow, now you can come over here. And she wants to sit in Willow's lap and just like chat with her. 
All right, come on. Is that is this the last flower that's on our property? Yeah, I think we'll do flowers and herbs. Oh, and Briarstock just caught a gecko. Briarstock, he is such a good hunter. So proud of him. What does he want to do? He wants to sniff the kits. So we'll we'll stock up the hunting like pile in, or the prey pile in just a moment. There we go. Right now we really do need to focus on trying to make it so that we can get as many herbs as possible. So now we go ahead and pick the daisy. I know, hang in there, Willow. You gotta time this with the spirit of the land filling up to doing things. Dang it, and Moss Leaf's off to go eat that goldfinch. And if we interrupt her, the goldfinch will no longer be useful. But Willow needs to rest anyway. So what we have now done is we have a daisy whose value is only five Simelonian. So maybe that's just one item. And then we have two Sweet Williams. And they're apparently normally rare, but they're worth 200 Simelonian. So we'll probably say that we can get two items or two sets of items, um, like one harvest of of a plant or one harvest of um, the the honey from what what she has now so that's how we'll kind of line it up is each flower and their representative is like one harvest of a plant or one harvest of a honey thing so i think that's pretty fair we'll figure it out we want to make sure that we give them an advantage just like branch clan has an advantage for if they catch a super rare fish that's worth a lot of simelonians and they get multiple fish or i didn't mean fish i meant uh, like if they find like a super rare gem to feed slate then they get like multiple items so all right branch Briarstock is doing really great. Where's Crowfeather? What does Crowfeather want to do? He kind of wants to sniff the kits. Oh, and he's going to goof around with Honeywish. Uh, yeah, okay. All right, Honeywish, if that's what you want to do. Seems like everybody's feeling a little bit better. He didn't manage to catch any new fish, but he did catch a jellyfish and a starfish, which should be pretty useful. Um, and then we have a gecko right here that was caught by Branchstock. He's currently catching a spider, too. And it looks like we've got, <laughs> Moss Leaf has caught uh, some light bugs, which we could use for other things. Don't forget, eventually we will catch items that the cats, like the termites. Maybe if we catch a bunch of termites, we could get some trees. We will make it so that the cats can eventually turn in the items that, that they collect for uh, decorations around the, the, the camp or even around other territorial areas. All right, and she wants to go off and catch more things. I think Moss Leaf's worried because there's not a lot of prey in the prey pile right now. And there really isn't. And we have a plasma bug too. No, Briarstock! No! You managed to get an empty chip bag curse. No! But he's such a good hunter that we've actually gotten rid of a lot of the empty chip bags. And there goes Oak Kit. Oh, Oak Kit, look at him. He's like, I'm going to be a fierce hunter. And the kits are really, they are very adorable. All right, let's see. Are you trying to catch this snake that's stuck over here, Moss Leaf? I think it's about time we caught that snake. But because it is a brightly colored snake, if the cats try to catch this snake, and if I move it, then we should be able to reach it. I think because this tree's in the way, and that's why we can't catch the snake. But this snake is a brightly colored snake, and it is a garter. And in real life, you guys, this is not a venomous snake. But because there are no venomous small snakes in Sims 3, the way we're doing it is if they try to catch the snake and they lose, then we have to roll that it's a potential snake bite. But I don't think we have anything we could use <laughs> to cure Moss Leaf if she did get bitten by a snake. So I'm going to send her over. I think she should spend some time with Oak Kit for a minute who appears to be very sad because he can't play with this piece. So I don't know what's that, what that's about, but I love this. I love this so much. All right, let's have her come over. I think she'd be like, okay, Oak Kit. She's going to give him a little bit of a groom. And she also wants a nuzzle lizard kit. <gasps> lizard kit's just sitting there. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, it's so cute. <laughs> you guys, you guys, look how adorable. Look how adorable this is. This is so cute. Oh my gosh. Lizard Kit's just sitting over here watching the hedgehog run around in circles. Okay, I'm going to leave Mr. Hedgehog there for a little while. All right. So next step, I think what we really need to work hard on is figuring out what type of plants are in the land. So we have a whole bunch of plants over here, mint plant, all sorts of cool things, but they were planted very late in the season. So we haven't really gotten any harvest from them. And we're gonna have to figure out how we are going to collect up the seeds. And I think the seeds, what we'll do is they can act kind of like flowers. Um, 
maybe maybe it'll take like two seeds per like one collection from a plant or two seeds per collection of honey uh since there's so many seeds in the world compared to the wildflowers we'll, we'll figure out the good balance oh no briar stock you also didn't catch that and we're gonna have to just start collecting herbs and we may not even know what those herbs do just yet but the clan is in pretty tight straits right now and i think everybody is getting a little bit worried a little bit stressed is it possible to fish at all in these I might need to redo the, the little lakes that we have over here a bit. I think that Crowfeather would be willing to come over and maybe learn to do a little bit of fishing from somewhere. He's going to scout the area out and see if he can do some fishing. Fern Creek, what are you doing? Oh, Fern Creek's goofing around with Lizard Kit right next to the edge of the cliff, Fern Creek. You don't really have a lot of maternal instinct, do you? All right, why don't you come over here and stalk for prey over here, please? And then Honey Wish is, let's see, spending a little bit of time with Squirrel Leap. So Honey Wish is probably training Squirrel Leap. We're going to say that's what it is. So we're going to let Squirrel Leap pounce because whenever the cat, the cat who's allowed to pounce is the one who will develop more hunting skill as a result of pouncing. All right. And meanwhile, I think Dogaze is just about ready to have a fit. Because she's going to be so worried about, like, what herbs to use. She doesn't know what herbs are available yet. She doesn't know the herbs of this land because she's from a totally different area and a totally different clan. And her clan has, unfortunately, died. They were killed in the cat attack. Or the dog attack, not the cat attack. <laughs> and let's let Mossleaf go ahead and try to do a little hunting. Because she's going to want to make sure that her kittens are well taken care of. <gasps> Briarstock, go for it! There's another goldfinch! I think Oak Kit is really excited and he's watching. He's like, this is awesome. Hopefully he'll be able to catch something. Did the cats catch something just then? Um, no. Briarstock has improved his hunting skill. Crowfeather. Did Crowfeather just catch something? <gasps> he did! He managed to find something. He found an outstanding quality goldfish somewhere around here. Let's see if we can find where he just did that fishing. Not over there? Is it over here? Because uh, that means we can do a little bit of fishing over here. And outstanding is not perfect quality, so that's why it still doesn't count as him being able to, uh, being able to get rid of an empty chip bag. Only perfect quality will do. All right, so we have to figure out how on earth he went over here and did some fishing. Because I want to know where the good fishing spot that actually works is located. Because that is really cool. That's a black, uh... Let's see, where's he going? Who knows? Who knows? We'll figure out where the good fishing spot is. All right, Moss Leaf's getting a bit of a nap. And Fern Creek was so hungry. Fern Creek is, she constantly does that. Fern Creek waits until she's so hungry. It's like she's not relying on the clan and she just ends up eating all of the, the, the things that she catches herself. That's the second time today that she has caught something and now she's going to eat from the prey pile too. You guys, this might be some future drama. Fern Creek continues to eat from the prey pile, continues to eat things that she catches on her own and she doesn't really contribute and that may not end well. And meanwhile, Briarstock, her mate, is exhausting himself. He's put off like getting anything to eat. He's put off resting, even though he's already caught things for the day so that hopefully his clan can eat. So I think there's going to be a lot of Fern Creek and Briarstock tension coming up in the future, you guys. So, all right, that is going to be it for now, everybody. Thank you so much. You are so fantastic. Just so absolutely fantastic for just watching as the cats. Oh, where are we going? Yes, we can do some fishing here. You're so fantastic for helping our warrior cats clans come to life. And it is amazing. And we're going to let him go ahead and pee and then maybe try to do a little bit of fishing. And this would not be nearly as amazing as it is without you guys. So, and if, is it just me or have you guys noticed how Squirrel Leap likes to sleep in the prey pile? So that's kind of funny. There's so many beds everywhere, but she chooses to sleep in the prey pile like almost every time nonstop. So yeah, we're going to have to see how tensions go. Uh, Briarstock and Fern Creek seem to kind of be drifting apart. Briarstock's just working himself into the ground, trying to make sure that the clan is taken care of for the winter. And meanwhile, Fern Creek... She's not only did she just eat 
some prey after having twice eaten prey on her own today. But now she is guarding the prey pile. She's in here and she was guarding the goldfish that Crowfeather caught. So we're going to have to figure out. And here he goes. Crowfeather's diving back in. Oh my goodness. This is adorable. Apparently he has decided he is going to learn how to fish. Heck or high water. So go Crowfeather go. Let's see if he catches anything. Oh boy. All right, did you catch anything? Maybe? A bat starfish? He caught another starfish! <laughs> I don't think they can really eat starfish, but they might be useful for doing something. And I think Dogaze would just throw her like claws up in the air in frustration and be like, what do you want me to do with a starfish? Because she wouldn't know just yet like how you could use a starfish because this is all still such new territory for her. But he's doing very well, and I hope that he can enjoy fishing because it's only another couple days of being able to fish before winter comes. And then there will be uh, no fish available from these little ponds because they freeze over. So we'll have to see how everybody's hunting skills go, and we'll have to see how the tensions of the clans begin to meet. And when Willow is feeling well enough, we'll have to see what kind of herbs we can gather in the odd herb place and other areas through the world. We'll have to send out a patrol of warriors to go and patrol troll their territory, which the Moss Clan territory is going to start spreading over to this lake right here and down to the Odd Herb Place. And they like to claim this patch right here as well as theirs. Okay, there's lots of, um, oh my gosh, there's a meteorite. We're going to have to figure out what to do with that meteorite. Basically, it's going to be kind of like first come, first serve for getting to areas that the clans feel are sort of contested because branch clans right here. So they feel like this is their territory, too. And we might have to like set up a random generator to see if a patrol might happen to cross and then they'll have to fight. And whichever clan wins the fight gets the special item, such as the meteor that has apparently shown up here and could contain special messages from Star Clan or give cats certain uh, special abilities or boost for a little little bit. But we'll have to have a random generator that will determine whether or not they run into each other. And if they do, whether or not the clan gets in a fight. And if they don't run into each other, whether or not the uh, branch clan comes along and smells Moss Clan and decides that next time they, they meet, they need to have a bit of a fight to reestablish this contested area of, of territory. So branch clan wants to claim this spot. It's right across from their ruins that they like to claim. But you know, Moss Clan also thinks that that's a useful spot because it's wide open. It's filled with all sorts of seeds and flowers that they could use. And I think that that's going to make for a lot of tension right here, you guys. So we'll have to see how it goes. And I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye.